Welcome to this week's episode of Bay Area's Finest Fantasy Football, Draft Day. One mind, one team, one heart, one player through the hole, one goal from the start. To dominate the art of the black and blue and watch the Super Bowl dreams till they all come true. Okay, so round one, I led off first pick of the draft, getting Aaron Rodgers, which started a whole run of quarterbacks. We saw Michael Vick get picked, uh, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Philip Rivers, all following Aaron Rodgers in the first round. Who's dropping a deuce? <laughs> what, what deuces is he going to drop? He isn't dropping a deuce right now. <laughs> I started the second round with Andre Johnson, which led to Greg Jennings being picked, which was kind of a sleeper because... Greg wanted him, and he, was, he thought he was going to drop all the way back down to him. Damn it! Not. That's on my list. Time to get some Most drunk running backs. Garrett <laughs> <laughs> Blunt. Oh! oh God damn it! Man. All right. Let's go. All right, there's not one. too many running backs left. There wasn't too much happening in round three, but one player of note was Steven Jackson, who went to team miles ahead. Great pickup. Okay, so the story of round four was Team Romero not showing up to the draft at all and auto-drafting the first Raider of the draft, Darren McFadden. After that, Sam Bradford got picked up by Ray, causing Fighting Illini, Grant's dad, to go ahead and get, um, Cheetos, to get Antonio Gates, which started a whole run of tight ends. And in round five, my dad went ahead and drafted uh, Matthew Stafford. He's a big injury concern. Hopefully this year he could get healthy. Maybe his own line will be a little better. I don't know. And then uh, I went ahead and drafted Peyton Hillis. That I, curse. I know, I know. It's a Madden curse. It's not going to happen. He's a champion. In the sixth round, Brandon Marshall ended up getting drafted. Hopefully he can rebound from his bad year. Uh, also, rookie running back Mark Ingram got, got drafted. Uh, hopefully he does well too. <laughs> Romero has just joined the draft. A little too late though. Okay, in the seventh round, uh, the, the city's golden boy went ahead and picked the first defense of the draft, and Team Romero actually showed up seven rounds late, but you know, better late than never. And his first pick that he actually picked himself, quarterback from Arizona Cardinals, Kevin Cole. Who got Jets Wow. All right, in round eight, um, I went ahead and picked the Steelers' defense. Yeah, I admit it. I got a little scared. Leto loves the Steelers, so I thought he was going to steal him. So what, what happened after that? Leto went ahead and drafted uh, the Packers. Not a good deal because Steelers are better at defense. <laughs> in the ninth round, Reggie Bush got drafted. Let's see what he can do with that offense. He has a rookie running back with him. Maybe he can do a good job over there. Steve Smith was also drafted. He used to be an elite wide receiver. Now he's just an old man. Dude, but Eddie's not even looking at his buys. He's got Cutler, Mike Williams, and Michael Turner on buys. On week eight. I'm Greg Perry. I'm here to discuss the surprise pick of the 10th round. The Detroit Lions, selected by Edwin Torma, owner of Drop a Deuce on You. Can you please explain, sir, what the hell you were thinking? Uh, well, actually, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> Tim Tebow! What the hell is Tim Tebow? Show up late to the draft and then you pick the third string quarterback from the Denver Broncos? <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. He's hoping he turns into a tight end. <laughs> tight end Tebow! <laughs> This is round 11. <laughs> wow. This is the Tebow round. Tim Tebow. <laughs> Tim Tebow, what were you thinking? That is the worst draft pick I've ever seen in the history of fantasy football. I think I'm going to be sick. In the 12th round, Plaxico Burris was drafted. He's fresh out of jail. Let's see what kind of impact he can make. Also, the starting quarterback for Denver, Kyle Orton, was drafted a whole round after Tim Tebow. Genius! Woo! Ugh. 
Round 13, there's a rumor going around basically about Frank Gore, he wants to get paid. And if he doesn't get paid, he wants to get traded. So you know, guess what? Eddie picked up Kendall Hunter. I don't know whether he knew about that rumor, but I looked that up right after the draft and he did pick him up. Crazy. And then Roy Halo, Hilo, Halo, Halo. I have no idea how the hell you say his name, and I don't have no idea who picked him. But basically, he should be a uh, good running back, I guess, a sleeper. For the last pick of the 14th round, running back Danny Woodhead was drafted by Greg Perrier, owner of Team Los Locomaniacs. Could you please tell us your thought on this pick? At least it wasn't Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. Oh! oh. Thank you. Thank you. Alex Smith sucks balls. Who? In the 15th round, the last round, Edwin went ahead and picked Javon Ringer. Now that's a great pick because Chris Johnson's throwing a holdout. <laughs> I don't even know if he's going to play this season. And then the last pick was Mr. Irrelevant, which was picked by me, Adam Vinatieri, Indianapolis. He's got a boot. Greg just said that Alex was probably the best pick of the remaining quarterbacks on the list. We're in the 13th round. <laughs> so for me, the, kind of the story of the draft was how good of a job ESPN's auto-picking system, it, I mean, it really works really well. It does actually work. And then Caesar comes and he takes, he selected Tim Tebow. It's like, Tim? That was his Tebow. choice. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Tim yeah. Tebow really got it going for him nowadays. I mean, he's got sponsorships, commercials. He's even getting drafted. Yeah, might as well call him tight end Tebow, because yeah, he's a third string backup for QB. Might as well, you know, get another position at tight <laughs> or something. Third string at two different positions, man. I think that's why he got drafted, because there's upside. He could be a tight end, he could be a quarterback. Very big upside. He could run, he's got legs, he's got a motor. And he said, his lead, lead is fixed. <laughs> what he said? He said, the lead is fixed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So we all know what he wanted. Packers! <laughs> yeah. Alright, so first round, unlike any other we've ever seen. I mean, we had five quarterbacks go. Usually the first five, six picks of the draft are running backs. That's just how it's always been. Uh, you know, I took Aaron Rodgers first, then people kind of followed my example, I think. You stole Drew Brees from me! Lito, you stole Tom Brady from me! And Greg Jennings! Why are you stealing people, Lito? Ah. Everybody steal- Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Ray did steal Sam Bradford, my dad. He was very pissed off. Now, that's the end of our draft. See you on week one. Right. That's the end of the draft. Uh, what's it called? It's for the people that didn't make it. You guys suck. Tim T. Wow. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Uh, Mobley Head, Caesar. Oh, that's the only people. Oh, Anthony. You guys come next year. Uh, we got a little announcement to make. Uh, go ahead and uh, reach my bag here. What's in there, man? What's in there? No, buddy. <laughs> so basically, what you guys all this is a new year. You might as well go ahead and crown the champion. Oh. 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 Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Edwin did win our season last year. Ooh. This is our trophy. Bye. Yeah. 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 Champion, uh, I'll be champion uh, this year. But uh, I got it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to uh, draft, so uh, here we go. I got rock and roll.